Hi guys, welcome to my second video. Uh, this video I'm going to be showing you the BP fan spawner. Now, a few things to note here. There is two types of blueprints. You've got the BP fan spawner blueprint, and you've also got the fans BP, which you can skip here, which I've already spawned one in over here. Now, we're going to start off by dragging this in, and you'll see it spawned a few of the ground chairs. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this, which is a chair editor start. And what you do is you right click and click run on this. Now this is just a little widget I've made to make the whole process a lot simpler for you. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm first just going to detail, sorry, demonstrate how to use the square editor. You have two editors here. I've made, I made a line editor, which is the one currently selected. You see it's in a line. Uh, we've got a square editor. Now the line editor is for doing curves, so you know if you're curving it, if there's like a curvy bit of the stand, you know like a corner stand or uh, etc. So, but the square one is mainly used for like box kind of shapes. So I'm just going to do a little demonstration for you just now that these have, this has spleen points which you can manipulate. So if I just hold alt, which I think it's better if I do this one. If I hold alt, I can drag off a point, as you can see the chairs, and hold alt again and drag off another point, and hold off alt and drag another point, see a bit of a, a glitch there. But you can see clearly that these points can be manipulated, and you can build all types of like funky shapes or whatever, to really be able to fit the chairs around your stands or Whatever, whatever kind of obstacles you have in the way, you can really adjust these to make whatever kind of shapes you want. So if you hold Alt again. Now I will be showing you a demonstration to put it in the stands. But I'm just going to go over this editor just now. This uh, chair editor that I've made has a few functionalities. If you click on like an object that's not like relevant, it'll sh display not relevant after selected. It also has a link to the YouTube channel, which will have the videos that you're watching just now obviously and also a feature request if there's any features that you'd like um i do have one that i'm making with the chairs you'll be able to change you can already change the color of them but i'm also going to make like a color wheel instead of having set colors so that's one that's already on the way but if you got any others in mind that could be improved for version 2 there is also better fans coming in version 2 if you read the description of the fan spawner it will also state that we're making higher detailed fans the fan chairs are kind of going to stay the same I might add in an extra fan, uh, an extra type of chair, but they are really detailed just now, and you can change all the colour of that of them just now, so they're going to be staying the same, but feel free to drop a request of a feature, it'll just take you to a Google a Google form, and you can submit any requests. This button, uh, fan VP too big to select, this will get covered in another video, on the fan VP video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, uh, well, this is sorry. This is currently the fans BP, and you can see the multiple options here, which will be covered in another video. So what actually happens is, if we click on the fans BP fan spawner, when we click add in chairs, which I'm not going to do just now, it'll actually create a fans BP actor, and it'll take all the chairs from here and it'll put them all in there and spawn the chairs. So it'll actually store it in a fans BP, and we can use that. So they're actually done as two separate blueprints. So this one is just the spawner really. So in here we have the settings and these settings I'm going to go over them one by one. Name override, this is a feature that I'm working on which I haven't currently used yet and it's going to be hopefully be able you're going to be able to type in a name and it'll save you having to you know just come up fans bp so for this one if it's on the ground I'll be able to say fans bp and I'll just be able to type in here like ground chairs and it'll come up ground chairs there we'll just spawn it in. So we've got a mode here which is show chair models so we can take this off or turn it on now i find if you're spawning like forty thousand or uh, twenty thousand fans that when you're dragging these points every second it's updating it's becoming so laggy and crashing because it's updating forty thousand fans it's deleting all the fans and respawning them all um i have managed i have done other things where it won't respawn every single chair only respawn the necessary chairs but I did run into some complications, so the way the system works is it does delete all the chairs and respawn them, which is okay for the small ones, but for bigger kind of ones, I found that if you just toggle this off, 
draw this as big as you want and then toggle it back on. It might take a few seconds depending on how big it is. It should... It's quite free-flowing and it will spawn all the fans in and uh, it works a lot better to save on performance with the no lag. So, another thing I've found is we also have the, as I just mentioned before, we've got the line editor, which I'm going to cover again in a minute, and the square editor. Now, we also have the colour over here, and there's a little box here which demonstrates which colour it is. And we've also got green, and we've got loads of different colours here. Now, for purposes you'll see later on, I couldn't make the colour wheel just now, uh, which has to do with like the painting of the chairs, so like... If you wanted to change like the colours, so if you want, like if this is Wembley, you wanted to paint like Wembley into the seats because it normally has Wembley in the seats over there. Uh, if the stadium was full, uh, there was complications with the colour wheel. You know, like identifying which colour it was based on the instance, it was quite complicated. So I've opted just now just to go for set colours, which has been a lot easier in my process, especially with undoing the colours too, and storing the colour values. But again, the colour wheel might get updated in a uh, later version, which I'm hoping to do. So you can put in your own colours sort of thing. So for just now, we're just going to do red. Uh, you know, I'll change it to, to orange chairs, right? Just for a demonstration. I'll actually delete these points. Okay, four. So you kind of know how to manipulate the points. And if you're quite comfortable with Unreal Engine, all you do is hold Alt and Drag uh, for the spleen points. So I've got that back down to a square. And I'm also going to change these. So this is the ground chairs, the two models of chairs we've got. We've got the ground chairs and we've also got the stand chairs. Now the stand chairs are obviously based for the stands and the ground chairs are more like event kind of chairs that you'd have on the ground. Uh, Defaultly, you're used to seeing them in black or uh, at my old school place, they were blue. They would look like this. So uh, we'll go with red, orange and stand chairs so what I like to do is line it up so I like to change the pers per per uh, perspective and drag this over oh. sometimes you have to do that you have to click off it and then click back on it just to be able to grab the whole the whole thing and right now I worked out that the Rotation factor for the Wembley, you can see like this bit goes that way and then it rotates a bit more, rotates a bit more, is 1.7, so I have to rotate this by 1.7, so 1.7 and 1.7 is 3.14, so I'll go to the Z uh, rotation, I'll uh, make this 3.14. I'm going to line this up. Now you will notice that this chair sometimes pops on and off and it makes like an odd chair here. The way I found to fix that is if we just click and drag, and put that here. And just drag this up. So I'm just going to size it to this. And size it to this one to here. Now you will see all the default values for this over here. But instead of having like the BP, uh, the fans BP and like you know, for example, we turn this one on, which I'll show you what that's for in a second, it'll display this one. Whereas down this one, down this side, you wouldn't be able to tell what it was for, and it was just a big complicated mess. So I made it a lot easier to understand um, process over here. That's why I made this sort of like widget application, if you want to call it. So you see now, this is just done very roughly. I've spawned these in here. So what I'm actually going to do is change my view from top down to perspective so we can actually see uh, so you can actually see the fans at the chairs here now what I've got here is this where it says chair height per row now we can adjust this so we're going to adjust it to 10 and you'll see it like moves them all up so each row it goes back it will adjust the height for each one so what I found the best for Wembley is to make it 20 now you will see it's protruding through a little bit but what we do is just click off, it's a bit of a pain having to keep doing this because otherwise you keep manipulating the points of the spleen and we can just move up and down you know what I have found is for example different parts have different heights so 
I have found that I might like this to be at zero, so the height to be at zero, but obviously the seats are coming through the stair chair. So instead of like manipulating this, if we want to keep them all at zero, um, I've also added a use chair height offset feature. So you click this, and then you say chair height offset. So all it is is just a, a local offset. So if we add in 20 maybe, see it puts it up, but it keeps the orientation Sorry, the location at zero. So it's just a local offset. And we add this to 45 maybe. Maybe 40. Oh. There we go. Ah, let's make it 45. You'll see this is protruding through here. You see I'm really happy with the way this is coming through. Now we do have, we can click add chair in. And this will create a fans VP. As you can see. And it spawned, it doesn't look like much happened, but what we've done is we've got a new file BP here, and if we drag the original fan spawner over here, you can see it's added this out in. Now, you will see that it says up here fans BP and fans BP2, which is obviously fans BP and fans BP2. Uh, they're two different things, but instead of having 200 down the side here, since it's just a location, a feature I've actually added is if I think. 1.7 is the normal rotation, it times it by 3, it'll be 4.84, I think, let's put that in here, 4.84, okay, and I might just change the colour, just, again, for demonstration purposes, you know, just this over here, now, I'm not really too bothered about this being exact, it's more just to show you, instead of having, like, 200 of them down the sides, what we can actually do is, there's a feature down here called Add to Existing Fan BP. So we click on this, and for some reason, Fan BP2 is not showing. I'm not sure where that is. Oh, there we go, it's showing now. So we click on Fan BP, Fan BP2, which is this one. And if we click Added Shares Now, instead of creating its own one, it'll search this name and it'll add it all these chairs to this one and I'll also add in the new colour too. So we click on add chairs in and hopefully this is like what's happening again but what it's done is if we select this in total we should have about 800, 809 chairs there we go. So in this one you can see how to add them all together and how to um, sort of manipulate the spleen points Later on, sorry, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you all this like paint chair mode where you're actually able to paint into the seats and change the colour of the seats and also remove seats. So what I found is as well, if you've got like a space like this, I found it's easier if you just draw in where you want your seats. And then, or for example, the curve here is a better example. We curve our seats round, which I'm going to show you in a sec. We can also remove use the remove chair mode and just click away the chairs that would be here just to fill to fit around the outline because it's almost impossible to use to draw around it with this without having complications with a square one um, and also the line editor you can draw a line we can show you that just now so we'll go back to here do 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 I'm going to change this back to red or actually no we'll go pink for a change and we'll change it to the line editor just to showcase this. Now the line editor has got all the same settings, but it's also got two extra settings. So what I'm going to do is, now there is a path here and here, but I'm just going to ignore that just for quickness and demonstration purposes. Perspective, top down. I like the top down view. I find it's a lot better to showcase, sorry, to line up uh, your spleen points. So, we just go in here, line up my first chair, right, so we've got this, and then rotate it like this, you can actually see it's starting to make a bend, a bit of a bend, and then we'll hold alt and drag again. Now this one, in fact what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add a point here. 
just to run a bit more of a curve to it. Now we can actually end up manipulating these later on. This is just to give us a rough, rough idea of where our seats are going to line up. Now this one I'm not going to go into too much detail because uh, you already know how to line them up and uh, you already know how to use these. These settings are all just the same. You know you can turn them off and on, uh, adjust the chair height. Now number of chairs going back. This will set like if we want thirty rows, it'll go up to here. Etc. Etc. So we've got 30. Let's just put 30 here. You actually see. Does this. So. What we're going to do is. You can actually manipulate this point. Doing like, like adjusting it. Now you will see that the shares will. Overlap a little bit. That is a reoccurring problem. However. You do have to fine tweak it, you know, like, so what we can do is we can actually delete this point and fine tweak this one. You know, you will have to fine tune it yourself. And okay, I haven't lined this up again, and this is just for quickness. You can fine tune it yourself to suit your needs. Um, it is actually a really, really good... Uh, if you fine tune it, you will get the perfect results that you're after. So if we go back to perspective. Oh. Now, unfortunately, I cannot figure out a way to get rid of these pink lines. These are just spleens, so it stays kind of in line. And again, this is overlapping, but if you manipulated the the curviness of the, the spleen points, you will be able to sort of iron this kind of bits out where they're overlapping sort of thing. You can kind of see it's kind of sorted itself out here. So just, again, for demonstration purposes. So what this actually is here, the curve smoothness, smoothness says 0 0.5. You can actually alter this. So if I make it 0 0.1, you can actually see the lines become more straighter. So the higher the value, the more, like, extra points it will add in the spleen. So, or sorry, the smaller it makes, but the more smoother. Can't remember which way it goes. But see, it adds, it takes away more points, it makes it a lot more smoother. Now, you do actually, the bigger, the further back you make it, you want to keep this number higher, I think. Yeah, so you want to make it higher, the, because the more chairs you got, the more spleen points you're going to have, and uh, vice versa. So basically, right now, you'll see, like, the distance between there, there's no extra spleen points added in, so the further back it goes, it's not as smooth. It just looks like straight lines. So by making this number lower, sorry I said it was higher earlier, uh, you can see that it's more smooth. So we'll leave that in here. We'll click add in. Take a, take a second. And we can now delete this. This. Oh. Don't know why it done that. I'm just going to actually click none on this. I'm going to add this in. So yeah, it's a major. Oh, hold on, if we hide this now. There we go. So if I just click back on this, quickly delete that, yes. Now you can see, again, you'd be able to adjust it to your, suit your own needs. We can now, in part two, Sorry, part three, when we go to the fan spawner, we'll be able to, if I just click on this one quickly, we'll be able to click on remove chairs and then click this bit and then click on the chairs we want to remove in the editor and then we'll be able to update it and I'll show you. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.